Hello, my name is Enzo and I would like to show you today how to build a burning book. So we know what I mean, I'll just show it to you. Let me just switch off the lights. It's a book that if you open it, burns. Now there's quite something to that book and I'm going to show you now how this can be done. Now before you can begin, there are quite a few things you need. First obviously a book and of course chemistry books work best. Now the book has to be at least two and a half centimeters thick because the electronic is two centimeters thick um, that um, makes two and a half the minimum. Then, uh, of course it's uh, got to be a hardcover book. Then you need a gas light. Um, it's important that it's one uh, that has got a battery inside um, because what you want is that if you press the button you get a continuous spark. I've got two different types here, they work both well, I got them at Amazon. Then you need aluminium tape. Um, this is Tesa and it's got to be the real stuff. That means it's a thick aluminium foil and not just the plastic one coated with aluminium. Then a battery holder for AA cells. An electronic push button switch and then of course the fuel. I use a mixture of heptane which is basically car fuel and methanol 50-50. A dropping pipette to apply it. Some electronic wires insulating tape, kitchen paper, scissors, a wire cutter, file, screwdrivers, a sharp cutter, wood or paper glue, hot glue pistol, a soldering bolt and tin. Now the book needs to be a hardcover book of course and then at the beginning leave some pages to show to the audience so they can see it's really a, a chemistry book. And then you need to glue some pages together. All the pages you want to cut the middle part out because it's really hard to cut all the papers um, if they um, don't stick together a little bit. I took this wood glue and put some water in it so it's diluted and then I could um, put it on here and it really sticks together now. Place some weight onto it after that for 10 minutes and <clears throat> leave it open so you don't glue together the pages you want to leave without it. Then you just use a cutter and you start cutting out the middle part leaving a rim of at least uh, two centimeters so the paper remains sufficiently stable. Okay, once that's done, let's um, have a look at the book. And if some pages have come loose, just glue them back together. And then we need to make it fireproof. That's with the aluminium tape. I'm just coating everything here with aluminium tape. After that, I need to disassemble the gas lighter. And what we actually need is just here the, the inner part, the electronic Okay, so the whole book is now covered with aluminium foil. Um, make sure you leave a small border here 
so nothing can be seen from the outside. Next, what I did is I've attached this battery holder to um, the electronic here. Make sure you roughen it up uh, a bit with a file so the soldering holds. And then I've got this push button switch. So when I press it, there's the lightning spark. I need to build this into the book now. Um, I'm going to change these wires as well um, using some longer ones. And the button should be in a place where it's convenient to press if you hold the book like this. So that would be a good spot. So I'm going to cut this open as well. Okay, that's done. So I'm ready now to insert the electronic. Um, I've replaced the wires as well. And because of the high voltage and the aluminium, of course, which conducts electricity, you need to put at least, let's say, three or four layers of insulating tape on the back of it. Then you can also fix the two wires together here using insulating tape. They can touch, of course, um, but not the ends. Okay, now I can place everything in here. And the button needs to be placed in a way that you can reach it, but it shouldn't be seen. So that would be perfect. I fixed everything now using hot glue. And um, it still works. Next, I will attach this lid. It's just a, a flap I've made with cord, the cardboard from this packaging of the lighter. And I'm going to place this now to protect the electronic part. The book is now ready to be tested. And because heptane and methanol do not mix, I need to shake it. and distribute one pipette of the mixture evenly on the household paper and then I can close the book. You can leave the book like that without any problems for 10 to 15 minutes and then show it to the audience. Now I just press the switch while I open the book and I've got flames shooting out of it. I hope it works for you as well as it does for me. Good luck!